Industrial designers consider the Westinghouse laundromat and the Westinghouse clothes dryer as excellent examples of uh, early modern industrial design. Now actually Westinghouse created the name laundromat for the washing machine and they had the twin as they called them, the Westinghouse twins with the clothes dryer. Now one year and one year only, this clothes dryer Westinghouse had, had a built-in unit that when the clothes dryer finished the drying cycle, it would play the song, How Dry I Am. Now we have the unit mounted on top here, so one can also see the device that was used to play that song, How Dry I Am. Put in the clothes, set the dials, add soap, and it washes, rinses, and damp dry, ready for the electric dryer where the clothes are tumbled about in heated air until they're completely dry, soft, and fluffy. I think Westinghouse Electric had its golden age during and soon after the Second World War. Now, of course, this was 30 years after George Westinghouse died, so you can't credit that directly with George Westinghouse, but it's the legacy that George Westinghouse, as a man, left that was developed into a company that could produce the many, many things that they made during the Second World War and afterward. Well, they made gun control systems for tanks that allowed them to fire while the tank was moving. It stabilized the, uh, the motion of the, of the tank platform. They made torpedoes. They made uh, DDT uh, canisters. They made binoculars. They also made helmet liners. They fired chickens through windshields to uh, test airplane windshields in East Pittsburgh. They had a compressed air cannon and they would fire dead chickens at the glass panels that they'd set up and see which panels could withstand a head-on collision with a chicken at 200 miles an hour. But if you were a pilot, it was pretty important to know that your glass had been tested. <laughs>